Hi guys and girls and uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Bob from Greybeard Models. Um, it's brilliant. Thanks for everybody who's liking and subscribing and commenting. It's been really good. Thank you so much for taking time to do that and to watch the videos. Really do appreciate, appreciate that. Um, this is an update on the, um, the Tally Ho coach and as part of that commercial vehicle group build and we'll see how we've got on. Uh, I did start off doing this where I was gonna um, add in that I'd painted the brown horses. I don't know what, but what do, what is it, equestrians? What do horsey people call brown horses? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about horses. Um, apart from, they leave stuff for the roses. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know what they're called. Anyway, um, I was going to include the um, brown horses and the being painted and everything else. But I think I've, I'm going to have a go at painting them on camera. Um, so they might come up in the next video. But anyway, this is this one. Let's get over to the bench and see how we've got on. So to carry on with the the brown horses, there's probably a proper way of calling them brown, I don't know. But I looked at the colour scheme on <laughs> on here and I quite like the colour of this this chap. Um, so I thought right I'll get around all of this and like I said before um, when I did the sort of primary coat I gave them a spray of this sort of darky brown colour that I had or dark brown colour that I had in in the airbrush at the time and I've done them both so now I'm going to do um, as I did with the white horses um, with with my um, wet palette uh, just need a, a clean sheet of, uh, of the material um, this stuff is hydration paper um, so I just need to get a sheet of that out which is easier said than done when you're trying to do it on camera oh, here we go it's a, a thin paper I don't know someone out there might be able to tell me I don't know what it's made of this paper um, but yeah, so put that put that down onto my onto my wet palette. Um, and then chuck back it again. Like I say, easier said than done when you're doing it on camera. Alright, so show that again. Um, in case you're wondering, um, I'm using um, this wet palette by uh, um, <laughs> well, Red Grass Games. Um, there's the logo there. Um, it's a really nice palette. Um, prior to having this, I used uh, pretty much like a Chinese takeaway food tray with a bit of sponge and, and some paper in it. But I just, I oh, just decided one day I'd go out and treat myself and get this. So. Anyway, reloaded that with clean paper. Um, I'll stick the lid back on um, for now, and then I'll go through the colours. Um, I need to change at the moment because I noticed the battery on my camera is just just about to go. So uh, I'll change the battery. I'll get the paints out, and uh, I'll show you what how I'm going to do it. So got the. The six colours that I'm going to use to uh, to paint these horses. Don't know if, if they're the sort of right colours, um, but they're the colours I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the same technique as I used before. And I ended up using the wet palette and getting the, the white white horses done. So with this, um, with these, I'm going to use. First of all, this one, which is uh, Vallejo's 70918 Ivory. Uh, I'm going to use 
70982 Cavalry Brown. Uh, the 70875 Beige Brown. The 70874 Tan Earth. And uh, the 70983 Flat Earth. And to use it as a darkening, me or, uh, you know, a darkening medium, I'm going to use 70950 the black. Um, and the colours, I've chosen the colours because there are various shades of of browns there. <coughs> they will complement each other, and the ivory will be used. As, as a lightening agent um, and stuff like that so on, or on the high surfaces where it needs to be a lighter colour that'll, that'll be that sort of colour but they'll all be blended together as I did before um, and I'll, I'll mix them as I did before I'll have them on my palette and uh, we'll go from there um, so that's that lot so I'll just get all of that sorted out um, and then we'll go back and I'll have a look at the coach and I'll, I'll just uh, clear all this away and I'll come back to you. So I've uh, put the body of the coach together and uh, started to give it um, the gold sort of lines around it and uh, the highlighted um, lettering. Um, the only problem I found was it's bloody hard to do. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I don't see there being an easy way of doing it apart from taking a pretty fine brush and I'm hoping that will sort of come into focus a bit but take a fine brush and, and colour the lettering or paint the lettering um, but I found that the gold did this it sort of looks good in one angle and then you turn it and it's, and it's not so good in the other um, so I'm going to go back in and repaint some of this as well. Um, I've got to get in tighter and, and repaint the stars on the side here. Um, but that's what we've got and I've just got to do a bit more work on that. So uh, that's where we are with those. So I'll, I'll uh, get this out of the way. I've got the luggage done. The luggage is all sort of painted and highlighted and stuff and the straps are done and the, the buckles and all of that so they're done as well and the slots are ready here for the seats on the roof and the rear belt part here is ready for the seats on the back um, so what I'll do is I'll carry on with this and then I've got to do the other side because I haven't painted that and also when I pulled the masking off I noticed there was a there's a small section there for some reason I don't know the, the masking tape didn't quite come down or whatever but I've got a blow through of black so that that will need to be tidied up but that's where we are with that at the moment so um, we'll get back on to the brown horses um, and other bits and pieces um, I've got a base for it now as well so I'll show you what I've done with the base and I'll come back with all that in a moment so here's the um, here's the base that I have. Um, it's one that I had on the shelf for for whatever reason. I bought I bought quite a few actually over, over the years, just just sitting there. And this is just with the coach mocked up and the horses. Um, just to give you an idea. I, I found, like I say, I had this in my stash, and I thought actually that probably that will probably fit. Um, it it's fairly narrow, but Let's be honest, when it's on the shelf, um, you're only going to be looking at it sort of this way. Um, so I thought, yep, that will do nicely. Um, and then I'll get the I'll get the base all polished off and then I'll do a, a sort of road surface on there. The the horses I've I've put on the the parts that come with the kit for holding the horses or for mounting the horses. Um, but I probably won't use them. It's just uh, it's just I found that easier to have the horses in an upright position for mocking up and stuff like this. But that that's where we are so far with the kit. As you can see, I've done a few more bits and pieces with the seats. Um, obviously, I've got more painting to do. And uh, but.
but that's where it is so that's where we are with with, with the uh, the coach and horses so far oh it sounds like a pub um anyway hope you hope you enjoyed that little catch up um i'll be back again shortly and, and i'll get the the brown horses done i think i'll do it on a separate video because I, I think what i'll do is i'll um i'll just show you how i do them and let's film it live and see see how it turns out anyway thanks for watching stay safe out there and i'll see you on the next one bye for now